So after I have finished weaving my um, dream catcher, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tie a knot here. So I just place it down and then just going to tie a knot. Make sure that you tie tight so that it doesn't come off. And then I'm just going to press it and then pull it. So after I have to tie a knot here, saw that knot there. Alright, so as you can see I have a lot of excess left. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut and leave maybe an inch of string. You're going to cut too close to the knot. So I cut it off. And then as you can see here I have a little bit of string left there. So I'm going to take my Yoohoo glue and then I'm going to put some glue on it. And then I'm just going to stick the string that is beside it. So just... After I secure it with the glue down, so it looks like that. So this is the first layer of the weaving. So your weaving will look like this. I'm going to do the second layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blue string. So now I'm going to use blue. Just now this one is purple. So now I'm going to use blue. Then I'm going to tie a knot at, at this place here. So I'm, I'm not going to tie a knot here again because the first weaving I already tie here and it goes like that. So now I'm going to tie the knot here further to the right hand side and then I'm going to start my weaving in between the weaving, the first weaving that I make. So it's going to be here in between. So I'm going to tie the first knot here first. So then so after I tie my knot, it looks like that. So I'm going to repeat the same thing. Here I have excess, so I'm going to cut a little bit off. And then I'm going to take my U-hook glue. And then just secure it down. Just like that. So after I secure it down, it looks like that. So now I'm going to add bits for the second layer of the weaving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of the string and then I'm going to take my bits. I'm going to take the pink Shavosky first so then I'm just going to slip it through so after I slip my bits through I'm going to I uh, have slipped through the pink and the blue Shavosky here so now I'm going to do the same thing like just now I'm going under but this time I have to pull my string here because I put it in between so going like that under and then I'm going to take the string so this time you have to be really careful you don't want to destroy the first layer uh, the first weaving that you made so you just want to go very carefully and then it looks like that so now I'm going to repeat the whole process after I finish um, doing the first round for the second weaving so as you can see I have add all the bits along here so now I'm going to do the second round so now I'm going to take the end of the string and then I'm going to go through this 
string here not the purple one but the string that with bits on it so I'm just going through so then after I go through the this string here and then now I'm just going to pull and then now I'm just going to repeat the whole process like the first weaving so now I'm going to use the string so I'm just go ahead and then just do the same process as this the first weaving so I'm going to do until the end now I have finished weaving my dream catcher so as you can see I've added some bits here and then it looks like that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot here it's the same um, <coughs> knot that I did it on the first weaving so then I'm just going to tie a knot Then pull it. So after I have tied a knot here, so as you can see, I still have excess. So I'm just go ahead and cut it, and then I want to leave an inch too. So now I'm going to take my yuhu glue. See that string there? there the string there so I'm just going to glue it down and secure it so after I have finished um, glue my knot here to the string next to it so this is my dream catcher so this is how the weaving look looks like and then now um, I'm just gonna put this aside first and then I'm going to take my feathers so I'm going to take one of my feathers first and then I'm going to so I'm going to take one of my cream bead um just now I show you that to clip the feather so then I'm just going to place then I'm going to take one of my pliers and then just go ahead and squeeze the cream bit down then I'm just going to use my plier and I just squeeze it down and then make sure you squeeze it hard because um, if your cream bit is loose the feather will come out, will drop off. So just make sure that you squeeze it tightly. And then I'm going to do it the same thing to my the other feathers. So after I have creamed my feathers neatly like that, then I'm going to take my this dream catcher that we made just now and then I'm going to take the jump ring just now I show you guys this jump ring that um, this is when it opens so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my feathers and then I zip it through the feather like that and then I'm going to take the dream catcher so I will be putting here see um that's a blue string there yep I'm going to put that all right so I have attached the first feather so it will look like that so this is the blue string that I'm talking about just now and I use a jump ring and then slip the feather in and then go through this feather and then close the jump ring so now I'm going to attach both of this feather like that. So after I have finished attaching the feather to the dream catcher and it looks like this. How beautiful is that? So now the last thing we're going to do is we are going to hook 
the earring hook so that we can wear it as earring. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the jam ring and then I'm going to take the earring hook. So, oops. So I'm just going to just slip it into the jam ring and then I'm going to attach it on top here of the string. So after I finish, I attach my earring hole and there I go. I have my very own dream catcher feather earring. So this is how you make your very own dream catcher earring and I hope this DIY tutorial can help you guys. But if you have any question or you want to know anything, you can leave a comment below the video. And if you have uh, make your very own dream catcher earring, please feel free to send one of your pictures with your dream catcher earring and then you can post it to my Facebook page. And I will give you my Facebook page below there so you just click the link below there and then you can post your picture inside. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys!